Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Macha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, um, as you can see here, all right, it says here just in uh, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, YouTube, and other big tech companies will now add content to a shared counterterrorism key database aiming to crack down on material from white supremacist and far-right militias. Okay, which uh, I believe the article for this is here, which, you know, uh, the other I put in the chat. Okay, now, um, as we read through this article, you're going to see they're basically trying to link, all right, or have one database with um, terms, terms, common terms all across. Okay, and so if something is... Is uh, if they can flag something on Facebook, it will be flagged everywhere else because it'll be in that database. They're gonna add, you know, words and you know whatever to a database, which shows you that they do have a database of of um, you know, code words, keywords, hashtags that they use to flag videos, all right, or content. Now this is from Yahoo, uh, Finance, all right, or here it says from uh, Reuters, it says. Um, Facebook and tech giants to target at attacker manifestos, far-right militias in database. Okay, and it says <clears throat> uh, a counterterrorism organization formed by some of the biggest U.S. Uh, tech companies, including Facebook and Microsoft, is significantly expanding the types of extremist content shared between firms in a key database aiming to crack down on material from white supremacists and far-right militias, the group toward Reuters. Now, if you notice, white supremacists, all right, is the Trojan horse. That's the, um, the, 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 what they use to get their foot into the door, right, or into the room, or however you, you say that, okay, because they know once they put that out there, it, it's not going to get as much of a backlash as if they say black supremacists or they try to throw other names in there. So when they say, you notice they won't just say white supremacists and what, far-right militias. And what they do is, once again, they embolden white supremacists. But this, the inside that horse, trust me, is a lot more. They just need this to bring forth those, those new uh, mandates and whatever they want to bring forth. And then apply it to everything else that's within um, or linked as they would, they would uh, put it to, uh, to this. It says, until now, the Global Internet Forum of Counterterrorism's all right, uh, database has focused on videos and images from terrorist groups on a United Nations list and so has largely consisted of content from Islamist extremist organizations such as Islamic State and Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. It says, over the next few months, the group will add attacker manifestos. Now, that's actually... Look up attacker manifestos. Or maybe we could just... Oh, look at that. The article's already popped up over there. All right, let's look up manifestos, which we know what it is, but let's see what they tell us. Manifesto definition. Not manifest. So it says a public declaration of policy and aims, especially one issued before an election by a political party or candidate. Let's see what else they have here. An announcement, all right? Notification, declaration. Now, you put attacker before that, which, once again, they use words that are um, subjective, you know, so they can determine what an attacker manifesto is. It says, often shared by sympathizers. So, Let's say, um, you know, maybe they go back to the January 6th thing, right? And they say, well, um, what they made a call, right? A manifesto, an announcement, whatever, to go and uh, um, storm the, the Capitol. And then sympathizers would share that manifesto. They would share it in certain groups and chats and stuff like that. See, so that's what it says, often shared by sympathizers, which, you know, people who listen to them, follow them, agree with them. It says... Um, after white supremacist violence and other publications and links 
flagged by United Nation, uh, United Nations Initiative Tech Against Terrorism. See that? Now they got the UN all up in there, which they've all, they all, they've always had the UN in there, but they're 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 rolling out the red carpet, so to speak. It says um, it will use lists from intelligence sharing groups or intelligence sharing group Five Eyes, adding URLs and PDFs from more groups, including the Proud Boys, the Three Percenters, and Neo Nazis. All right, the firms which include Twitter and Alphabet's Inc.'s YouTube shares uh, share hashes, unique numerical uh, representation of original pieces of content that have been removed from their services. So whatever they deem um, uh, hate or violation of their guidelines, they'll remove it, okay, but they share it. So if uh, Twitter has, has is something that can't go up on Twitter, YouTube will be able to find out, okay, well, if it's up here, then maybe I can take that down too. It says, so that means that if they, if, if like, uh, let's say they were to shut down us from speaking, well, if they shut us down on YouTube, you ain't going to see us on Facebook. Because whatever reason they shut us down for on YouTube, they would have shared that throughout the rest of these platforms. Okay, so whatever video you might try to put on YouTube, it doesn't go there. Well, you try to put it up somewhere else, it won't go there. Because when you, when you, uh, uh, when you add a URL, right, that's the, 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 um, damn, I forgot the name, the, 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 uh, the acronym, what it, what it fully stands for, but nonetheless, that's that right there. So when you, um, when you, when you flag that, when you upload a video or you upload a web page or whatever, there's a URL associated with it to get to it. So if that's flagged, it doesn't matter where you go. It's going to be the same URL because it has to be unique to that content. So if they put they flag that it's done. And wherever wherever it pops up on the web, if it's on their platform, they'll find it and they'll take it down. Or they just won't let it even get uploaded. Okay, but as we can see, the famine of the word is drawing closer and closer and closer. All right, it says um, other platforms use these to identify the same content on their own sites in order to review it or remove it. While the project helps uh, combat extremist content on mainstream platforms. Groups can still post violent images and rhetoric on many other sites and parts of the internet. See, we're doing our best, but it's not good enough because they still have the rest of the internet. So you now, they they're gonna they're gonna keep pushing until they can police the whole world wide web. The tech group wants to combat a wider range of threats, said uh, GIFFCTS executive director Nicholas Rasmussen in an interview with Reuters. Anyone looking at the terrorism or extremist landscape has to appreciate that there are other parts that are demanding attention right now, Ras Rasmussen said, citing the threats of far-right or racially motivated violent extremism. Go read Project Megiddo and you'll see what they mean by that and who they're talking, who they're talking about. It says the tech platforms have long been criticized for failing to police violent extremist content, uh, though they also face censor, uh, concerns over censorship. All right, then it goes on, which I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will put the article, the link to the article in the description box. All right, but as we can see, you know, this is a part of Revelation 12 and 12 with them coming with great wrath, with them doing this, with them doing their mandates, with them pushing it, uh, forward with their agenda. Okay, as well as Revelation 2 and 10, all right, which I'm just quoting it now, all right, <clears throat> them casting some of us into prison. Because, like I said, if this is not acceptable online, well, they're going to make sure it's not acceptable in person. And if they can shut you down online, but you're still out there in person, see, the difference between us and a lot of other people is a lot of these truthers, you don't see them go out and teach what they're saying. They'll do it online. So once you shut down the content online, okay, then it's like, okay, well, now what? But for us, they got to go an extra step, an extra mile, which is to come and actually stop us because they know we're not going, man, okay, take down the internet. That's not going to stop us. So, so they have to take that extra step to where in person or online is a problem. All right. It's not allowed because of what we're saying, not where we're saying it. Now, this is the book of Amos chapter eight, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, 
that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, and that's what and what we're speaking are the words of the Lord. But it's going to be it, there's going to be a famine of it because how are you going to find the word of the Lord? You're, it's freely accessible to you now because of all these platforms, you know, and we're out. But the Lord is going to take that away. As it says in the book of 2nd Ezra, then shall wit hide itself. Okay? Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. All right, so get it while it's hot because the time is coming when you won't be able to get it. Okay, so with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.